M0 FXB, we've got the ATS 25X, works great. That's just coming off my wire. So anyway, let's just um, show you how to add a memory channel. It's nice and easy. The first thing is choose what you want. So let's say we want a hand band and we've chose 40 meters, okay? Nice and easy. Then the mode, mode and LSB. So we've chose the band we want to save to a memory channel. It could be, um, you know, a broadcast frequency. It could be any of the frequencies that are covered within this device. And these are about, I think they're about £80 delivered from AliExpress or places like that. So then go, if you want to save this to a memory, just go next, like so. And up here you've got Memo. See it says Memo? Click Memo. And you'll get this list here. Alright, and we've got, how many has it got? Well, it's got plenty there. I go keep going, it's over 20. So let's go to an empty one. We've got a few that we've already added there and it even gives you the details of what they are. 80 meters LSB. Now let's add what we're on now, which is 40 meters LSB. We'll click add. We've just added it, you see? Or we could delete it. Once you've added it, click OK. Now, how do you recall it? So let's say we, we go to recall this one, 80 meters. We've already recorded it and we can back out completely. Okay, now let's go, let's recall a memory. So we're on the original screen now. And then um, click next. If you're on this screen and you're not seeing the word memo, click next. And then you'll see memo. And then let's recall a dip well. Yeah, let's recall that one, number three, and just tap it. Because it is touch screen. And that's it. And you can even edit it. Look, edit. Well, we're not going to edit it. We can delete it. We just click OK. Then back out. So, you know, the question, because someone did say these are good devices, but they don't store memories. But they do store memories. Uh, they're quite fun, fun devices, aren't they? They are receivers. But for shortwave listening, they're perfect. Look, we've got normal radio there, retro style. What else can we tap? Oh yeah, RDS, so normally you'd get information. What does that say? SNR. Well, I'm not going to put radio on because we might get told off. You've got chip information. Tap the screen for back. Up and down. Look, up and down. Let's go back to... Let's go back and then we've got band. Which is, so it shows all of the bands it covers. Look how many it covers. You know, you think for £80 it's touch screen. Go back. Let's go to band and we'll choose hand band, my favourite band again, which is 40 metres actually. Go tap the screen for back. Ham. 40. And there you are. And you do need to be reasonably loud, but it's quite a good speaker. And we can tune up. Tap to fine tune. It's pretty good, isn't it? You think I'm on a, just a length of wire? I'm on a length of wire, 20 meter length of wire with a ballon, a 9 to 1 ballon that you can buy on eBay for receiving. You've got an attenuator. If it's, you know, if it's a bit too distorted. Bandwidth, you can change, choose one that sounds good. See the difference? They both sound alright. I wouldn't go too small unless it was CW. If I turn it down, mine's got that whining noise which comes and goes, I'm not sure how to get rid of that, but otherwise it just works great, and remember it's back, tap the screen for back, push the big VFO for volume, and I think if you can push it again, look at that, you get that, 
the BFO shortcut. You got your steps. Adjust your steps. Oops. Tap screen back. Oh. <laughs> That if we get lost, we can always go back to our memory. And go back. You know, we pay a thousand pound for a radio to listen to this. A lot of the time we are just listening. You've got your volume slider. I know it does show... You've got a setup section here. Seek AM FM. I haven't done the Seek AM 1 kilohertz. I'll try that on another video. Oh, so we got retro FM light. Let's tap that. Brightness. It's, it's a lovely screen, to be honest. Info. Tap screen for back. Chip, we've done that one, haven't we? Scan, we can scan. Uh, it starts to scan. It does go silent. You can pause. We'll let it do the full scan. You see the lines is where the activity is. If we pause, then we can move to the lines. See that? Fine tune, tap the screen. Uh, maybe it looks like we've got to come out completely to do that. Fine tune. We were, I used to work at a microwave radio station, which uh, was. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So thanks for watching my channel. I'm sure this does more, and it's great fun. It does AM, LW, MW, SW, SSB, has a DSP receiver. Just show you the back of it before we finish. So at the moment we've flicked to shortwave here. Now oh, let's get this. See shortwave, you flick it, FM, SW. On headphones it just sounds brilliant. Power on and off. And then it char it's a chargeable device, and the battery lasts for ages. So you turn it off, and then turn it back on. I, I wouldn't do firmware update, it seems hard work. So it's just annoying about that whistle. If I go louder, the whistle is there, even if I on zero volume. It, it didn't have it when I first got the device. So if someone knows how I can get rid of that, let me know. Bye for now, 7-3.